Hey everybody, today I have kind of a funny little piece of content. I'm recording the narration track from my eye poster for the AAS meeting. Um, I've never done this before, so I'm doing a few takes. I think this is take number three. Now, I can only have three minutes of audio for the narration. I'd like to get it in under that. Three minutes is a long time, but it's also a very short amount of time to talk through an entire project. So my strategy is I'm going to do it like I do my vlogs. I'm going to just try to get each piece, and then I'll stitch it together in my video editor, and I'll export the audio directly. Hello, my name is James Davenport, and in this eye poster, I'm presenting the rise and the fall of HS Hydra. HS Hydra is an eclipsing binary, and in 2012, Zasha and Pashka discovered that it was an evolving eclipsing binary, that the eclipse depths were changing over time, probably due to a third star in the system, causing the system to process and tidally evolve. In their figure, which we reproduced here in figure one on the right, uh, you can see the eclipses in the 1970s starting out very strong, very deep, and by the early 2000s are very small amplitude. We went back into photographic plate archives out of the DASH project from Harvard, and we were able to recover the onset of the eclipses in the beginning of the 20th century. Now, Zasha and Pashka made a prediction that the eclipses should end somewhere around 2022, but the uncertainty on that inclination evolution was pretty substantial. Thankfully, serendipitously, in 2019, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, caught tiny eclipses from the system. You can see in Figure 2 the TESS light curve from Sector 9 for HS Hydra shows pretty small amplitude eclipses. This is something comparable to an exoplanet transit. And this is exactly what's expected based on the discovery in 2012, that as the system evolves in inclination, it should reach a state of being just a grazing eclipse, and that's where we are in 2019. In figure three, you can see the so-called rise and fall of HS Hydra, the eclipse depths getting bigger and then smaller. The system peaks as an eclipsing binary somewhere in about 1959. And what I love about this figure is that it traces the entire evolution of modern astronomy, from photographic plates reaching back to 1893 in the earliest bin, all the way up to space-based photometry in 2019. Our inclination evolution model shown in figure four predicts that the eclipses should end in about February of 2021, or in about a month from now. But the system has already reached the test noise floor, meaning that the eclipses have reached such a small amplitude that tests can't detect them against the noise background. Now we don't know much about the orbit of the third star in the system, but through continued monitoring and follow-up spectroscopy, we should be able to constrain it better. We believe that HS Hydra is now a former eclipsing binary and will remain that way until about 2195 when it once again begins eclipsing. Thanks for taking the time to look and listen to our eye poster. This work is currently submitted to the AAS journals, and if you'd like to discuss it further, please reach out on Twitter or Slack or email.